know that more than 99% of women between the ages of 15 and 44 who have ever had sexual intercourse have used at least one contraceptive method? Ain't that everybody? That's everybody. That's just about everybody, <laughs> That's pretty much right? everybody. Uh, and four out of five sexually active women have taken birth control pills. The only available options for men right now are condoms, vasectomy, or the pullout method. Which, which is I not hesitate a to call it a method. It's not I a method. That's loosely, that is loosely a method. method. It's methodish. Yes. It's method adjacent. It's adjacent. It's you at know the, what it's I'm at saying? The, you know what? It's at the it's corner down of the street yeah. from. Yeah, from sort of trying and sort of not. Right. You know, you know what I mean? Like, I, that's where I, it is. You know what? It's at the corner of don't don't count on this. Thank you. Thank you. Not a good plan. Yes. So the burden for birth control has largely, if not entirely, been considered in this culture a woman's issue. Yes. But is it time for more, more male birth control options? Oh, it's way it's past time. time. It's time. Oh, way. oh, my goodness. Oh, Ooh, I'm not even wearing a watch. I can tell you it's time. Ding, 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 ding. That's the alarm going off, gentlemen. <laughs> Wake it up! Yes! <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, I asked my husband as I, we, I was prepping for the show last night, and I asked Tom when, while I, we were both in bed, I go, would you take a pill or a shot? Mm -hmm. And he said, well, you know, if there weren't any side effects, I was oh, oh, did you see the like, I was like, ah, I, was, ah, yeah. I, would, I would Tasmanian devil sketch out. What you, <laughs> any side effects? Any, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to, do you know how many side effects we deal with? <laughs> no, you <laughs> don't. <laughs> Every form of birth control that we have to take, whether it's with uh, the shot yes. or the, the thingy what the, they put no. it inside yeah, you, the yeah. depa thingy, yeah. or all that, it all has side effects. And women have been dealing with this from the dawn of birth control. I wonder if we feel passionate about this, Angela. Not really. I'm confused and conflicted. Yeah. That's why I'm glad that we have joining us via Skype fertility expert, Dr. Manny Alvarez. <laughs> Welcome to Me Time, Dr. Manny. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. <laughs> So, why don't we have a male birth control pill? <laughs> well, because men are not responsible. And uh, uh, unfortunately, you're right. Women have taken the, the burden of, of being responsible for birth control for as long as I know, you know, as we have birth control. And, you know, for the last 50 years or so, uh, they've been trying to get male contraception available, but it hasn't come to fruition. And between you and me, I don't think it's going to come to fruition anytime soon. Really? Wow. Well, apparently we're supposed to be close to three male options. What are they? Well, all the options are basically uh, out of the same theme, which is to downregulate the male hormone, which is testosterone. Mm. So there are experiments looking at a, a male contraception pill, but again, the side effects uh, that come with these kinds of reduction in the male hormone, testosterone, uh, are quite significant. And the most important one of them is lack of libido. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I think that that's where, it, you know, things are falling short. Right. And, you know, the numbers of experiments that have been done are so small, you know, 80 men, 100 men. And, and that hasn't proven the point yet. So, again, I think that we're not going to see anything for at least 10 or 15 years more. Wow. Yeah, because I've never heard anybody be concerned about what the the birth control pill that women take does to our uh, libido. No. I haven't heard an ounce of research on that. No. Well, you know what? <laughs> what do you think well, about <laughs> Dr. Manny, do you know? <laughs> well, well, hold on, hold on. There, there are side effects, of course, to, to, to a lot of the contraception that women take. But libido per se, let's say if you take the birth control pill, the, 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 especially the new ones that are very low dose in, 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 in hormones, they don't seem to capture that side effect. And also, you know, when you look at the side effects of lowering testosterone, which is really the only mechanism uh, to kind of make the sperm not be produced, uh, you also get things like depression and, and so on and so forth. So. The side effects right now, especially in, in, the, in the male contraception side, seem to be significant uh, as compared to the years of experience that we have had with, let's say, birth control pills, which uh, now 
nowadays are very effective and have minimal side effects. Well, thank you so much thank for joining so us, much. Dr. Manny. Thank, thank you, you, Dr. Manny. Yes, yes, well, yes. Well, we wanted to know what our friends on social media thought about the topic. We asked if a men's birth control pill or drug was developed, should men be responsible for birth control? 92% yeah. of you believe that they said yes, they mm -hmm. should. Yeah. Only 8% said no, and you guys have got to get it together. Yes, yes, yes. All eight of you. Even though many people believe it is time for men to start sharing the burden of birth control, the real question is a matter of trust. Can we trust men with that responsibility? No! I, I, I really don't know. So we went out and asked our neighbors what they thought of men taking birth control. Here's what they had to say. Take a look. I think men will be more faithful at taking birth control because they want to make sure that there's not some kids running around here that they have to take care of. So there'll be less, it'll, the earth will be less populated if men had to take it. Uh, even if there were side effects of birth control, I'd still take it. I just wouldn't be happy about it. No, I wouldn't trust them. Absolutely not. But I would hopefully trust that, you know, if, if men could have bear the children that they would probably do it. Yeah. No, I wouldn't trust men. I would still take it on my own. It, like I would still prevent it myself from pregnancy. Would you take birth control if there were side effects? No. Oh yeah, but we have to with the side effects. <laughs> oh, oh, see yes. how they just start, uh, how we started a fight. Right, right, right. <laughs> well, joining us via Skype is blogger and married mother of six, Gabrielle Blair. And she recently went viral when she posted a Twitter thread that men are 100% responsible for unwanted pregnancy. Hello, Gabrielle. What's up, Welcome Gabrielle? to Maytime. Yes. Hello. Why shouldn't there be more, um, options for men. And well, number one, your thread was brilliant. I have to start there. It was incredible. <laughs> yes. Okay. And we know you got some blowback, right? You. you got some pushback on that? I did. Yeah. Indeed. For sure. For sure. No one likes to be told 100% of one sex is responsible for anything. Yeah. I feel like a mother of six gets to say this. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you've done your time. I've done my, I've had six babies come out of my body. Yeah, I, I know a little bit about this. <laughs> yeah, and what was the blowback? You know, tell everybody a little bit about your thread and then tell us about the blowback you received. Sure thing, so basically I, I talked about how, hey, a woman has a fertile egg. It's fertile two days a month. A man's sperm, it's fertile all of the days. It's always fertile. And I brought up the idea of how strange it is that women have been tasked with taking care of birth control instead of Ben. Yes. It's, a, it's a, so strange. Yes. And then I also talked about, thank you, thank you. And then I talked about that birth control for women has a lot of side effects, as you've already been discussing, whereas condoms, not really any side effects. Mm -hmm. um, they don't get sick. They don't get aneurysms or cramps or anything like that. They're, they're cheap. They can be used instantly. They work instantly. You don't need a prescription. They're just easier. Yes. And then if you don't like that, there's still vasectomies, yes. which also don't have huge side effects. Mm-hmm. That's so good. Yeah. why aren't we asking men to deal with this instead of women? Yeah, why? There's a double standard. Absolutely. Right? And why Why do you think that is? For sure. Well, I have a theory. I, I mean, think it's called sexism. A thousand years of patriarchy? I don't know. What thank, you, <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Gabrielle. We really appreciate you being here. And thank you for your thread and speaking up. Me Time with Frangela. 